Space. Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex here with another COD tutorial and this video is going to be on using the velocity envelope to synchronize our video game footage along with our music track. So the first thing you need to do is have your video clip and music track on separate timelines and we're just going to mute the audio track of the video and here's the music track if you want to preview it. That's what I'm going to be using to synchronize my footage. So what you want to do is find a specific sound on your music track to sync your shots to. And by specific sound I mean like a kick, drum, snap, snare, or anything like that. So I'm just going to uh, synchronize my shots to a kick. Alright, so I'm just going to find my kicks as you see here. The kicks have similar sound waves. So I'm just going to go to my first kick and press M to set a marker so I know where it is. And then go to the next kick, go to the next kick, and then lastly go to the last kick. Alright, so now that we have that done, uh, now on to inserting the velocity envelope. So make sure you select your video clip on the video track. Go to insert, video envelopes, and event velocity. Now you should get this little green line. Now the velocity envelope does not synchronize your audio along with your footage if you speed it up or slow it down. So what you need to do is separate them. So click on the video clip and press U and then get the audio and just delete it. Alright so what you need to do next is go to your first shot. right around here and you just want to drag the beginning of the video clip and drag it inwards uh, close to the first shot and just drag it to the left now go to the first marker and drag your clip left or right depending on where your shot is and align that shot along with the marker so if you preview it it syncs to the first marker and before you actually sync it, what you want to do is right click on the video clip, go to properties, and make sure you disable the sample. Alright, so on to slowing down or speeding up the video. Now all video clips are, aren't the same, so the shots, the interval time between each shot is different. So to fix that, you need to go to your first marker and double click on the green line to make a point. Then go to your second marker and do the same thing, double click to make a point. And now we're going to go between these two points and make another point. Doesn't really matter where, so I'm just going to go a little bit close to the first point. And now here's the most important thing of uh, synchronizing your video more efficiently. So have your cursor onto the second marker where this point is and what you want to do is click and drag the middle point upwards or downwards now if you drag it either way uh, you need to watch the preview screen so that you know where the second shot occurs so right when you get the second shot let go of this point. Now we synced our first and sh second shots together so let's preview it and there you go. So you can control basically control each individual speed percentage just by right clicking on one of the points and by default it's set to smooth fade. You can change that to fast fade if you want and this doesn't really make much of a difference. to the video clip. Now if you're having any problems with uh, moving to the points to a different speed percentage, uh, you can fix that by going to your video track and selecting this button called Maximize Track Height. So click it and it'll elongate the video track so you can accurately pinpoint where you want, want each point. Alright, so here's another tip. Uh, basically the event velocity gets a little choppy once you have a point 
or a speed percentage under 30 percent so if you bring this point down to about 20 17 percent and let's preview it the video clip is going to get a little choppy so about 30 percent is the limit for how slow uh, the video clip can go but you can always go to a lower percentage further but the video is going to get choppy so that's the end of this tutorial i hope you guys like it uh, if you have any more questions please post them in the comments i'll be making more of these tutorials this month so stay tuned and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time